why don't you look in the eyes of the people of the state of Florida and say to them, if you're reelected, you will serve a full four-year term as governor. Yes or no? Yes or no, Ron? Will you serve a full four-year term if you're reelected governor of Florida? It's, it's not a tough time. question. It's a fair question. He won't tell you. But I just want to make things very, very clear. The only worn out old donkey I'm looking to put out to pasture is Charlie Chris. That is one of the more memorable moments in last night's gubernatorial debate between Governor Ron DeSantis and former Governor Charlie Crist. Now, Crist did need a pretty big night, and according to Real Clear Politics' average of polls, he is trailing Governor DeSantis by 10 points. And only time will tell if the debate made any difference with voting already underway. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn is live outside Miami-Dade County Election Headquarters on day two of early voting. Jacqueline, good morning. Yeah, you know, at times it was a pretty intense, fiery debate, especially with a pretty vocal crowd. But will this make a difference for voters that are heading to the polls here? Again, as we mentioned, only time uh, will make that clear. But this debate really showed the stark differences between the current governor and former governor and now congressman and how they stood in contrast to each other uh, during this debate. Now, the two traded jabs over some of the most hotly discussed topics, such as the cost of living, immigration, and the pandemic response. Let's listen in on their differing points on COVID-19. He wants to talk about how we reopened this and we reopened that. You can keep things reopened, but you got to do it with an eye toward what health care providers tell you. Not being arrogant, so arrogant that you won't listen to their advice about when masks are appropriate. Ron, I wouldn't pat yourself on the back too much about your response to COVID. We've lost 82,000 of our fellow Floridians. And I can tell you, as Charlie Chris and his friends in Congress were urging you to be locked down, I lifted you up. I protected your rights. I made sure you could earn a living. I made sure you could operate your businesses. And I work like heck to make sure we had all our kids in school in That's person time, Governor. five days a week. Now, the two did agree that Nicholas Cruz should have received the death penalty and that they would work to amend laws regarding this. Now, there is a lot of ground to cover here, and we're going to talk about immigration next in the half hour. Governor Ron DeSantis made headlines for moving migrants to Martha's Vineyard. Again, we'll have that at 530. For now, reporting in Doral, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News this morning.